Hi, this is Miranda from Custom Crops, and today I'm going to be showing you this really fun necklace that one of our designers, Karen, made. It is using a lot of new Tim Holtz products. So we've actually made some jewelry before, but this is going to be a little bit different, and I'm actually going to be adding another product to the necklace I'm going to be making with you today. Really fun shrink film. It's like magic. So I'm going to show you that. But one of the things that Karen used to make her necklace is a new word it's called a word stick by tim holtz and you get a whole package of these there is 12 in a package also using some type charms they're awesome little charms they even have the little rings on them so that they can go onto a necklace or bracelet and it, it looks just like typewriters so that one is fun. I'm going to be showing you how we found a really cool shape off of cars, which would be totally unexpected. One of the cartridges, Cricut cartridges. And then also going over a little bit on the Copic markers and just some other little Tim Holtz embellishments. Pretty much everything we're going to be using is Tim Holtz. So let's just get started. And the first thing I'm going to be showing is the shrink film. I'm super excited about this product. This comes in various colors. We have these on our website. There is matte, clear, and just different colors. But I'm gonna be using matte today to kind of show you how you can make it your own and it doesn't necessarily have to stay matte. I'm gonna be using some alcohol ink on mine, but you're probably wondering what it is I'm saying I'm gonna do. I'm gonna be making a peace sign, which starts out like this. And this is the actual shrink film that we cut using the Cricut. So it cuts in the Cricut, which is super fun because some things you might have done with shrink film before, you might not have done since you can use it in the Cricut. But I have this little shape here. This is after we shrunk it. So I have this awesome little peace sign charm to put on my necklace and I colored it blue using the Copic markers. So because they're permanent, it sticks really well. And for the one I'm gonna be doing on camera, I'm actually going to be showing you using the Tim Holtz Alcohol Ink Mushroom is the color I'm gonna be using. So I have my peace sign here. I actually put it on a black mat so that I thought maybe you would be able to see it better because I don't want you to miss out on this magic that I'm about to make happen. Natalie did this for me earlier and I was like, oh my gosh, like I really thought it was messing up on us. So you're probably gonna think the same thing, but you just wanna get your tool good and hot. I mean, it's going to get all bent out of shape on you here, and it's all of a sudden going to flatten back out. And just keep on it until you see that it is in the shape that it really needs to be in. Perfect. Now we have our cute little peace sign here and you're just gonna let it sit for a minute cause it is gonna stay hot for a little while and if you pick it up, it's gonna like bend on you. And I have my little word stick here, hope, kinda goes with the whole peace theme. And to make that hope pop, we're going to actually be running some acrylic paint through it. Very simple, um, Karen actually did it in hers. She did it with black to match the theme of her necklace, which is super cute. I'm going to be using some like green here to really make that word pop out. And you just simply get it on a paintbrush and run right over your stick to where you're making sure to get it where the word is. And then just take a paper towel and wipe off all the excess and that paint will stay down inside the word. now you have your own little word stick that you make your own. Another piece that we're going to use that is super easy is the type charm. I already have my piece out and it comes with three pieces inside here. You have your little charm and by the way is like super heavy really nice quality i thought it was going to end be like plastic or something made to look like metal but it's very nice i'm going to take an m for miranda they're just little stickers here put it inside the circle 
And then you have the third piece is this little clear glass bubble here that's also a sticker that's going to go right on top to make it complete. Now our type charm is done. And then run, I also decided to add using one of Tim Holtz fragment charms. I have my little charm here and I took some of the fun new Cosmo Cricut paper. We have all of this on our website. This paper line is super fun and it is double sided. And I just cut out one of these cute little birds here. And how I did that, I just simply laid my fragment down and traced the perfect size of the fragment. And I'm going to be using glossy accents. We have these also, these come in a various of assortments. We have crackle, matte, glossy. So you just put a little bit right over your paper and then take your fragment, put it right on top and kind of swirl it around so that the glossy accents cover your paper entirely. And then you just hold it for about 10 seconds and it will stay and then you can wipe off all that excess and another trick that we also learned because we did this as well at the same make and take is that if you have any paper sticking out over the edges you want to get just clean it up a bit you can take your sander we have our Tim Holtz sanding block here, which by the way, they make replacement sheets now for the sandpaper. And just sand off all of that paper that you don't want sticking out to make it form right to your fragment. Once you have your paper sanded and clean it up, you're going to want to poke your hole through the paper so that you can get your ball chain through. And to do that, we're going to use our Tim Holtz Tonic Craft Pick. And you want to make sure that you poke from the back instead of the front, because if you poke from the back, that'll just ensure that the paper stays on. So now we have our hole punched through. Our little birdie fragment is done. And our last step, we can just finish our peace sign. And I have decided to use some alcohol ink this time. On the first one I did, I just used some of the Copic markers and colored it blue on both sides. And this time I'm just gonna use some alcohol ink just so you can see the different ways that you could color these. So the last step, I looks like it's not dry all the way, so I'm just going to run my heat tool over it really quick. And I'm going for the really rustic, vintage -y look. That's why I chose this mushroom color. So you can see I didn't put it on perfectly. It has some darker spots, some lighter spots, which I really like. So you can just see, you can either have a color that really pops. So I'm gonna just add all my pieces together. So now you see I have my little hippie necklace here. Anyway, you can see it's super cute idea. You can use a lot of the Tim Holtz embellishments, a fun way for you to see how to use the type charms and the word sticks. These would be great also on like a card or a scrapbooking page. The possibilities are endless with his products. That's why we love them so much. But I hope that you liked this project and we'll see you next time.